Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Delijah Monet. And on this episode of Moments with Monet, I'm going to be talking to all of my single ladies, okay? It is the month of love, and I know how easy it can be for us to struggle with throughout this time. Now, before I get started, if you have not actually subscribed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. And turn on your post notifications because I'm going to be uploading videos every single Friday. As you know, this channel, it inspires to bring you genuine love, support, and inspiration in your life in the hopes that you begin to show up in the world as the best version of yourself. Now that that's out the way, we're going to go ahead and get straight to the point because I know exactly how you feel. Ladies, it's the month of love. You have not experienced love or you have been waiting for your partner. You have been waiting for someone to come into your life to actually embrace you. Or you might even be wanting just to do cute couple things, like whatever the case may be. I know that it's probably very difficult throughout this month for you to embrace your singleness. And we're going to go ahead and talk about it. Because ladies, to be honest, your singleness is probably one of those things where it's like a blessing but in disguise. Because, you know, nobody wants to be alone. Nobody wants to be lonely. Nobody wants to really take the time to address themselves. And in the world that we live in, it's so easy for us to get distracted by the outside things, circumstances, our finances, our friends. And so it can be really hard to be intentional about getting to know yourself, creating boundaries, getting to know what it is that you like and what it is that you want in your next partner. But look, sis, we are not settling in 2022. I refuse because I believe that for everybody, there is a soulmate. I believe that there is someone who will meet everything that you need, everything that you want. There will be somebody who will literally be the yin to your yang. And let me say one thing before we go ahead and just dive in a little deep to this thing. Not every relationship that you see on social media is one of those relationship goals, right? Sometimes on social media, people are only showing the best sides of their relationships, the best sides of themselves. They're not really showing you what it is that's happening behind closed doors. So never, ladies, never, and I mean never, ever, compare your relationship goals to somebody else's because there is stuff that you need in a relationship that I might not necessarily need. And also, I challenge you to embrace your singleness. Relationships are one of those things where it's like, it's very important. It's very pivotal, even to yourself and to the generations after you to find love. Because at the end of the day, when you have kids, your kids are going to see that version of love that you embrace. They're going to see the relationship that you have around them. They're going to think that that is one of the normals for them to have. So it's important for us to realize that, but it's also important for us to be real about how it is that we can feel during this time. You know, as women, we are natural nurturers. That means that to an extent, we find our value in nurturing and loving and caring and supporting others. It's just the truth. It's part of our DNA. It's part of how God created us to be. You know, for men, it's a little bit different because they find their value in providing. They find their value in even their work and and things of that nature and so it's important for us to identify that but to also work and navigate through that you might be a woman like me i've been single for the last three years but every holiday that comes around i always have that one moment where it's like dang like god if you want to send them you can send them but if not we good we good we're just gonna go ahead and make it through look you are not alone sis you are not alone. And if you have felt that way, make sure you leave a comment below because I really wanted to get to know you guys and see where it is that you guys stand on your relationship status and your singleness. Are you happy? Are you embracing it? Are you sad? Let's go ahead and talk about that in the comments below. Now, one thing I can say is, is that it's very important for us to shift our focus with our singleness because it's so easy for us to feel as though we have no one around us or that we're lonely or we begin to get into these boxes where we're not open to different things. So it's important for us in our singleness to shift our focus onto us and not only us, but figuring out what it is that you like, what it is that you love to do, um, trying new adventures, even hooking up with your girlfriends. And if you don't have a lot of girlfriends, you know, just chatting and mingling and even joining different groups like 
going to dance nights or um, salsa classes. You can also go ahead and join a workout group or even like a yoga class just so that you can get around different people who have the same interests as you because it will help you keep your mind off of the fact that you're not necessarily in a relationship yet, but you're also embracing you and, and figuring out the things that you need. And the question stands for the week. Are you pro-Valentine's Day or are you anti-Valentine's Day? Now, for me personally, I am pro-Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. I'm here for the love. I'm here for the roses. I'm here for those acts that actually show your partner that you see them, that you value them, that you love them, and that you hear them. You know, like I'm all for the love. I'm all for the vibes. In fact, I actually would describe myself as a lover, like a lovey type of woman. And so it is hard for me to not be able to express that side of myself to someone and to shift that energy into showing myself that type of love and that attention that I hear myself, that I see myself. Now for Valentine's Day, there are some things that I wanna give you guys, like you can also take yourself on a date. You can spend time listening to your favorite music, journaling, reading your favorite books, and give yourself something that you will love, something that will make your day, you know, embracing that moment for you during this month of love, right? And look, we all talk about love. We all desire love and companionship because we were created that way. So never allow somebody to silence you or to make you feel as though you can't express the fact that you desire intimacy and that you desire love because we were designed to do that. However, if you begin to make that the forefront of your life, I believe that you can actually begin to move further away from yourself. And when you focus on being single or you start thinking that you're alone, you start thinking uh, and dwelling in that place, it can bring negative feelings, negative thoughts, negative emotions to the surface. You can even find yourself in a state where you're literally crying your eyes out because you're single. But look, I just wanna shift and challenge your perspective because I truly believe that it is an honor for you to be single. It is important for you to thrive in your singles. It's important for you to be able to stand on your own so that if somebody does come into your life and let's say things don't work themselves out, like you have a strong foundation in you. It's like, I'm gonna bounce back regardless, right? Instead of feeling broken or feeling less than because the person that you love isn't there or doesn't reciprocate the type of love that you need or or isn't willing to actually step up to the plate to be that for you and it's important for you to be able to say no i don't deserve that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to be single until i find somebody who i naturally am attracted to and that meets me where i'm at and is also willing to grow with me and to love with me and to become something together you know it's it's important okay and it is Okay, and I, look, I'm gonna just say it one more time. You are not alone, sis. You are not alone. But I challenge you that for the month of February to embrace yourself, take yourself out on dates. Matter of fact, you don't even have to do anything on Monday. You can do something on the weekend or on your day off that shows you that you love yourself because at the end of the day, I really believe that you deserve it. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up my video. I hope you have a great week i cannot wait to see you guys next friday make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more conversations about real life topics that you can begin to move with the pace of grace concerning your life and it's okay for you to embrace the season that you're in it's okay for you to be happy and to be joyful about where it is that you're at so that you can begin to continue to move forward in gratitude and in sincerity i hope you guys have a great rest of your night and i'll see you guys next time bye